hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our pos system in php so guys as we have seen in previous video we have add the admin and fetch the admin details and now guys in this video we are going to continue with the edit and update this admin record and also delete the record so now guys let's get started so first let's move to our editor and let me close everything so we'll be clear here so now guys let's go to admins.php file and on that we find that edit option and inside this edit option href attribute we are going to add a id as parameter and just concatenate the admin id so you can just copy this from here and paste it and now guys let's see the output for this refresh and now guys let's click on edit so here you find that admin edit.php with the parameter named id equal to one okay so the value is one so now guys let's copy this name and create a file so let's create a file admin edit.php and now guys let us copy the complete create page and paste here inside the edit page okay and now let's change the title so edit admin and this is going to back button and let's make this button as danger color and now guys let's start here from the form tag so inside the form tag we have to start with the edit option so open php and close php so first step we will check in a if condition so use a is set function to check get method of id is set so once if it is set you also check whether it is null or not okay so use a if condition and use this not equal to null else if it is null just return back return or you can write the false and also echo where you can mention h5 tag and tell id found so if it is not set you can put this in a else condition the same way you can echo let's copy this if the id is not set you can tell given in url okay or your params and now if the id is found then you are going to create your admin id equal to dollar underscore get method of id so once you get the id then you come below and now guys let's get the admins record admin data equal to get by id function so this function we have already created in the functions.php let me show you so here is a get by id table name and the id you have to pass so it will give you the output guys okay so let's get back you need to pass the table admins and then the id so id we have created here as admin id okay yep now you can put this here done and now guys we need to check whether it is true or not so if it's true then you are going to show the data else it can echo as something went wrong okay and just return false so now guys let us get inside this if condition and check the status is 200 or not okay so just give an else condition just use this admin data whatever data you are getting status okay is equal to 200 so what is this 200 let me go to that get by id function so we are on this get by id function if everything is correct and we get the data here you are sending this status 200 so here i have made a mistake guys just make it to 200 when success response comes okay so status equal to 200 and in the else condition echo that the h5 tag again concatenate dot dot and use this variable so admin data of message if something goes wrong so you can set this as message m-e-s-s-a-g-e -S -S -E. so this message is working from this conditions like if this goes wrong or this goes wrong anything okay so it will just print that message part so if you get the correct data then you have to show in the form so as simple now guys let us control 
x the complete form so this is my complete row of form data and let's paste here so yep let me okay so now guys in this form input we have to give the value attribute value echo and close so now guys you need to get this variable admin data of data admin data of data and then your column name that is id so what is this data this data is nothing but the function data guys so here you see that we have passed this data variable array of data to access the data okay as simple and now guys let's copy this complete value and paste for other fields so inside this you pass the email okay so this is a name attribute not id so you have to pass the name column name and next is going to be the password so we do not show the password just remove that and remove the required field also from the password and then guys here for the phone number also and then is ban open equal to and close php dollar admin data of what it is is underscore ban if it is true then you are going to tell it will be checked as null so let's mention that checked okay perfect and here and with the semicolon now guys one thing we are missing that is the button name changing and the id admin id so let's create one hidden input field so before the row i am going to create one input field which is going to be a hidden and name attribute it's admin id and value it's going to be the same part let me copy this and paste here and call the column field as id let's save it so before submitting let's check the output so i'm going to change this to text and see the output refresh perfect guys so we get the correct details okay now let's go back and check with the id too let's click here id perfect guys so we get this id and now guys you can make this back to hidden which will be hidden from the form perfect so let's click to update this record yep let's move back and move at the button change the button name as update and now you need to copy this update admin and go to the form action so where is my form so here is my form it goes to code.php on the method post so let's move to the code.php guys okay let me minimize this use if condition if and check with the is set method dollar underscore post method of the button name okay if this button is clicked then you are going to get all the input fields from the form so let us copy it guys from top all this condition and now you can move below and paste here okay so this is my if condition start ends and the else part let me copy that and paste here perfect let us remove this password option so now guys uh, we need to get the input fields so we have got all the input field except the admin id so let us copy and paste and change the variable name as admin id and what is the input field name attribute over there so here name attribute value is admin id okay we paste here and we got the admin id so now guys we need to fetch the data to update some recorder okay so what we'll do we'll get admin data equal to get by id function where you'll pass the table name and then the admin id okay so we've sent that admin id and now guys you can just use the if condition dollar admin data of status is double equal to 200 i mean not equal to 200 then you will return and redirect back let me copy and paste here and you just move to edit.php with the id equal to and concatenate the value guys dollar admin id done now guys before this i just 
like if you don't enter the password that time what happens it just updates the blank value so you need to check in a condition user if condition if password is not equal to null else okay so here we can tell the hashed password equal to password hash function dollar password which is we are going to password by crypt okay bcrypt if the password is already found okay like you have not entered the password then you are going to store the default entered password okay so which is already the old password so we'll add this admin data of data the password okay now let's get back to the update function so let's create one input data variable equal to array field name here and its value from the i mean input box so we have already done this while saving the record let's copy from there so we have already done this process let's copy this and paste below perfect so done and we get the name email and its hashed password then phone and is back and now you need to use the update function so inside the update function we pass the table name then the add id and then the value so dollar admin id you pass that admin id and then the data so data is nothing but your variable guys i mean input field guys okay so once the result is saved you are going back to same page that is admins edit.php with the id okay let me concatenate it dollar admin id let's copy this and paste below done so change the message admin updated successfully and else something went wrong okay so now guys let us try to update the record and test it let's save get back refresh okay so i'm going to update the name here admin update let's click to update perfect so admin updated successfully awesome guys so let me show you in the database so here you see admin update perfect so we have successfully seen that how to update this record and i just want to break this guys below so get back to your edit and this is my s band just add a br tag to break and same goes with your admin create okay let's paste here save it all set so now guys let us get started with the delete option so yep let's move back to admins.php and here is a delete href okay so we just need to same way copy the id and paste the id okay and now let us create one a file for delete.php okay so let's create a new file inside admin folder admins delete.php and write the code over here for the delete functionality let's begin with open php and close php and you need to require the functions.php require where you'll go one step back then go to the config folder and then go to the functions.php done and now guys you need to get the value so from where are you getting you'll be getting from the parameter so we just now did let's go inside the edit and here is the code guys to check that functionality let's copy this get back to admin delete and paste here so i think we are repeating this code so what we'll do we'll just create a simple function like check parameter id let's move to the functions.php add the last and let's create one function called check param id function okay and inside this check param id function you pass the type what kind of type of parameter it is like id or names like anything user if condition and check is set oops is set dollar underscore get method of what kind of parameter 
you have sent okay if it is set you will show else you are going to return and you can just echo that in any h5 tag in the front end side so no no id given so what in case of it is set but it is has no value so you are going to use this and paste here not equal to null else then return id not found let's copy this and paste here again and tell no id found okay return this type of data okay that's it guys so now guys let's copy this and use it in our admin delete okay so let's create here param result equal to check parameter id and just pass this id now you don't need to write this so you just need to check if this number numeric or not okay so yeah and just use is underscore numeric function if this data is numeric then you are coming in and deleting the record else you can redirect him back okay so let's use a redirect function to go on admins.php page and send like something went wrong done and if the data is found then you are going to delete the record now guys let's get the admin id equal to the admin id is nothing but this parameter result whatever you get so let us validate that parameter id okay so parameter result id let us create this variable okay and let me just echo and show you so it works fine let's get back refresh so i'm going to click on this id2 let's click delete perfect so here you see that id has two value okay so let me just reset and now get back so let's write the query guys you need to check whether the admin is exist or not so let's tell admin equal to get by id function where you will pass the table name admins and the id so basically it's admin id so here you pass the id and now guys you need to check in a if condition you have got the status 200 or not i mean the success response so if it is yes then you're going in if you don't get you can just redirect him back okay so let's copy this and paste here redirect him back and tell the message as dollar admin of message okay m-e-s-s a-g-e so admin delete equal to delete function okay so this is delete function we have created in the function.php let me just show you so here is my delete function which i am going to use the table name and the id let's get back to code.php not code.php admin delete.php so my table name is admins and the admin id okay so we pass that admin id so this will delete the record and you can tell admin delete response okay let me rename this variable again if it is deleting if it's not deleting you show that something went wrong okay let's copy that paste here and if it is deleted you can just mention admin deleted successfully that's it guys let's move back refresh and let me add a dummy user so ast at gmail.com some password random digit phone number span save edit oops not edit we have to delete it okay so let's click on delete perfect admin deleted successfully awesome guys so we saw that we have added the admin and also deleted the admin so guys we have successfully done with the crud of admin or staff pos system okay so now guys let's continue in next video with the new topic inside this pos system okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share